back here. Are you trying to roast me? This side laughed. That side don't know how to laugh. It's on fire over here.
Praise the Lord. We have new people. Amen. Let me see your faces. So I can look at you. Amen. My wife would have been here. Where's uh, Felipe's wife? Okay, I want to make sure. How are you? It's good to see you. My wife would have been here. We just moved in a new home. Amen. Some of you know us already. We're the ones to help me move. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a good one. Praise for these men. To help us move into our home. To help us move into the last home and the last one. Amen. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I use that pastor card. I do. Amen. How many know that you can do that after you've, you've made your bones? Amen. We've been around a little bit. For some of you that don't know me, praise the Lord. Bishop Ryan, Cross Street Ministries. Amen. We will soon be a living word. Amen. We're excited about the, the, uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The transition. Amen. How many know that this seems like a season right now of transitioning? Yeah. Amen. I've been hearing the Spirit since October last year. New beginnings was the word that God gave me. And it wasn't because of the new year. Amen. How many know that every pastor around the world probably at New Year's preaches something about the newness and new starts and all that. But, but I really heard God say that he's going to give some of us a new beginning like we've never seen before. Amen. How many believe that tonight? Hallelujah. And they're looking forward to it. How many are... You know, came into this year limping. Amen? How many have been in the home less than a month? Okay. That brother went like that. Was that a side? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing an answer. <laughs> I seen you were here. How many again? Less than a month? Amen. Okay, less than three months. Or let's just say more than three months. More than six months. More than a year in the back, Ryan's like, oh, "Is it going to go here? More around that mountain?" You bless me every time I see you because you remind me of your brother and back, vice versa. You guys are gifted, amen. The teacher, I remember. How I many know that God has a word for you tonight, amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then come empty-handed. I'm a product of the home. Amen. Come on, man. You got some pressure. I'm a product of the home. I went to the home in Dallas, Texas. Anybody from Texas here? You're from Texas? Thank you, Jesus. I ask everywhere I go, and there's like, like crickets. Uh, where are you from? Brasville. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're from down south. I had a lot of old carnales from the family that used to be in from Brownsville. Yes, Crystal City, Cathedral City, I think Baytown, more Uvalde. Am I getting close? South uh, Padre. Well, then, Mustang yeah. Island. Oh, uh, yeah. We won't bring that up. Praise the Lord. <laughs> back in the 80s, brother. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I won't hold it against you, though. It's a hano. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many know that God is good? Yeah. We say all the time, cliche, but is he good when things don't look good? Is he good still? Can you still say God is good when things are rough? How many know that some of you right now are on the roughest part of your journey than you will ever be on? Amen? Amen? I'm a product of the home. I went to the home and became the men's home director and was raised up and went to Vati and, you know, uh, was married there in the church, and you know, we know that God has different ways of reaching us and leading us in different places, amen. Just because I'm not part of Victor Outreach anymore, amen, I still have roots here and I still give honor where honor is due, amen. amen. I believe in the vision of Pastor Sonny and Sister Julie, amen. It's a worldwide vision and it's a vision that has reached out to you, amen, and to myself, amen. How many know there's many branches on the tree? Amen? Oh, Praise amen. the Lord. Grab your Bibles. Turn your neighbor and say, grab your Bible. Grab and I'll tell you, your neighbor next to the other side, if you don't have your Bible, shame on you. Go get your Bible. You want to go on yet? I've pastored three churches. I've been blessed. All the way from Dallas, Texas, out here to Adelanto, California, with my wife. Uh, she wanted to be here for the sisters because she loves women. Not like that. <laughs> Watch it. 
I mean, like, she has a heart for women, amen? And I was talking, and I don't need to bring her arms, dude. Brother Luis, stand up in the back. This is Brother Luis right here from the Victory Outreach Victorville Church, amen? Come on, give that some praise to that brother. He was with us when we first started out, what was that, three, four years ago, Luis? Three, four years ago, him and his wife, I met him at a Starbucks, amen? amen. Right? Starbucks? I fish at Starbucks. And, uh, and, and this gangster was up in there. I thought he was going to try to roll me or something. And, and I presented the gospel to him, and they came up to our first service, amen? And God got a hold of him, amen? They've been serving the Lord for three, four years now, amen? God is good. Are you hearing me? That's all proof. I don't know somebody, amen? But, uh, you know, the thing is, is that uh, my wife, she wanted to be here tonight, and and uh, she sends her love to you, sisters, and, and knows what God is doing in your life is profound. Turn to the woman next to you and say, you are profound. See, more often than not, we find ourselves in a world where the song is wrong and wrong and wrong. Over and over. It's a man's world. <laughs> I knew I could rise there, but how many know that God created man and woman? Amen? Man, I thank God for my wife. Are you hearing me? Now, some of the men, that they, they, raise your hand to help me move. One more time. I'm going to try to put you up first. Oh, there you are. How you doing, Brother Victor? How you doing? It's good. It's good. Amen. And you got to meet my wife. Amen. How many of you can tell a lot about the man of God by his wife? Come on. See, when I meet pastors around the country, or around the place, I want to meet, after I meet the man, I'm like, I want to meet the wife. Because that's really where you're going to get the goods. 